one of the great things about nature is once you get accustomed to her, it doesn't feel right not to be out in her. And it's very similar with working out when the gym is closed or there's some other reason where you can't make it, it doesn't feel right. It takes uh, you know, four or five months getting used to it and starting to thrive in it. And then you embrace the discomfort, you embrace the hardship, you embrace the challenge, you embrace the trials, and you look forward to beating them. And so, if it's within your means, you should always be getting out of nature because it's like a reset. It's, it's the default setting of the matrix, which in Latin means womb. And so, we, I often contemplate how plants and trees know how to bear vegetables and fruit that are suited to us and suited to all these other beings that you see in the background. You see that guy? Look a little bit further back. They're everywhere. And we're everywhere. And we all have this relationship with each other and we're all keeping each other in check. Sometimes we're the predator, sometimes we are the prey. And so you, as an individual, need to work on yourself to minimize the amount of time that it's possible for you to be prey. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get a little bit closer to these guys so you can see them. So you can hear these creatures by just staying still. And uh, they can sense everything about you. If you're not threatening, they don't run. If you're threatening, they freak out. It's the same way with people. Be congruent. Your incongruencies are what creep people out about you. Be uniform. So you think so you feel, so you act, or behave. All right, happy Thanksgiving.